A Lake Oswego man, home for college, is arrested after police say he threw a lighted Molotov cocktail into another teenager's home two years ago. The device started a small fire as a family slept upstairs. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. Coin 6's Jennifer Dowling is live outside of Clackamas County with an update on the case. Jennifer. Good evening. Well, court documents state that Travis Toll was arrested for reckless endangerment and also arson. He was released on bail yesterday, and although this case is more than two years old, neighbors say they remember it well. Just the fact of what it was was kind of the shocker. Neighbors Rick and Chris Gates still remember the unusual crime that happened next door on June 18th, 2014. You know, this sort of thing doesn't happen very often. At that time, Travis Toll would have been 17 and just graduating from high school. Police say at around 11 p.m., he chucked a Molotov cocktail into this home off of Upper Drive, starting a small fire. Neighbors say the family of four who lives here, including a girl around his age and a younger sibling, woke up to thick smoke and put a small fire out. Uh, a this is around disturbing. midnight. And, you know, fire engine lights are pretty bright. Longtime residents say the strange nature of the crime caused them to remember the case well. This is a pretty quiet neighborhood. Oh, Toll, now 20 years old, attends the University of Southern California. His mom stated in a court affidavit that he's an active member of the Trojan Marching Band and participates in the USC ski team. She says he received a 3.85 grade point average in high school and maintained similar grades in college. We stopped by his house today, but nobody was home at the time. We left a message asking for comment. We also stopped by the victim's home and left a message as well requesting the same, but didn't hear back. Meanwhile, neighbors say they'll be following this case. If somebody, somebody had thrown a rock that. through the window, that's a different thing. But a Molotov cocktail, I've never heard of that before. Now, court documents also state that he will be back in court on December 28th. His mom reporting that the only fence offense that he had prior to this was a traffic ticket for an improper left turn. That's it. Back to you.